the day is finally here. Hello everyone, welcome to the Goal Difference again. Brendan here. And today we're going to see the matchup between Lion City Sailors versus Borussia Dortmund in a friendly for the Asian tour. Uh, you know, welcome. Thank you so much again for the love and support. Great feedback, great suggestions, you know, great support. Thank you as always. And yeah, what am I rocking today? I'm rocking the Borussia Dortmund um, 95-96 away kit. So uh, Tuesday, I went to the airport and I rocked the home kit. And today, I'm rocking the away kit. And then I'm wearing the Borussia Dortmund cap. I don't know where you can see it. And I think today, they are expect it's expected to be Jalan Besar full stadium today. So it's going to be rocking. And, you know, just some thoughts. Before I go into the stadium, I think I'm going to keep the gimbal again. Likewise, uh, this is very similar to the Singapore Cup, right? The Singapore Cup. Um, because of the fact that I, um, the e-ticket and then the gimbal, I'm a bit worried that they may stop me and whatnot. So I don't want to, I want to keep it in my bag. Hopefully all goes well. And then, you, you know, today I've got another giveaway, a very small giveaway uh, for the fans today at Jalan Besar. And then I've got, um, what else do I, I'm planning to do a lot of interviews I think today because I know a lot of friends, a lot of people in the show uh, from my live streams and then from the vlogs that they're coming for today's game. So it's going to be a lot of familiar faces. I'm sure you're going to see some familiar faces, some new faces, right? You know, it's good that uh, football is generating such buzz in Singapore. You know, you, you really love to see it. And with that, that concludes the intro. I think the next time you see me, it will be inside the stadium. So with that, uh, thank you again so much for the support and I hope that you guys enjoy today's vlog, yeah? So, stay tuned and see you guys. I said that you guys wouldn't see me until inside the stadium, but what are the odds that in the lift, I get to see a good friend, Eddie hey, from hey Sailor Talk, Hello. right? So again, what, uh, we were talking about what are the predictions for the Sailors game, right? So, sorry uh, Eddie for cutting off just now. So what uh, do you think is going to be today's uh, lineup and the score line? I think uh, both sides are gonna feel very like experimental lineups, honestly. And then, um, I mean, obviously there's a gulf between our league and the German Bundesliga, even Bundesliga's reserves. So that's why I think we're gonna lose. And we don't really have anything to play for. But those guys, some of them, they might wanna play their way in the starting lineup. Yeah, they wanna impress the head coach yeah. and you know show a good uh, impression after the World Cup so they can start Correct. more games. Right. You never know. You never know. Yeah. Some people get injured in the World Cup. Then it's their time to shine. You know. Exactly. So I think they have more to play for. Very fair. All right, so uh, I'm going to talk to Eddie about some stuff. Uh, I'll see you guys in the stadium. So catch you guys later. Okay, so we are inside Jalan Besar. It's um, about four and a half more hours before the game, and the stadium is actually picking up. Yeah, so as you can see, let me point to the crowd. All right, man, say hi, say hi. Hello, hello. I say hi, say hi to the crowd. Look at the crowd. Look at the crowd. Let's go, let's go. Not too bad. Not too bad support thus far. Uh, the charity game is going on right now, so that's why the crowd is, you know, going really supportive of the charity game. You know, the fact that I'm waiting for Joshua, Joshua is going to be here about 7.45, and it's what, almost, it's like 6.55 right now. Um, you know, good to see the fans come early, or not later, they're going to queue up, like what as I mentioned earlier on, right? And yeah, probably, you know, I, I, I'll probably put a picture right here. I met one of a goal difference, like, follower and a friend, Xavier, you know, what a nice lad. Um, very nice guy, you know, he's been supporting the channel and you know, he came up to me and said hi, so I, from the bottom of my heart, I really appreciate it. And yeah, the whole difference, we are here today, seeing whether Sailors can pull off a huge upset against, the, against Dortmund, which I highly doubt so. And as I said earlier on, I'm going to do a minor, give, a small giveaway, uh, maybe that during half time. And yeah, it's my first time sitting on the gallery side, so it's quite interesting. I'm wearing jeans, I don't know why I'm wearing jeans, I'm sweating like, sweating bullets right now. Uh, just felt like wearing jeans. I don't know. So, yeah. Uh, I'll probably catch some footage of the charity game right now. Okay, so it's like still like one and a half hours before the game. Uh, I've got a friend here, his name is Afa, and he's very kind enough to do an interview with us. So how are you feeling today, Afa? Uh, I'm good. Man, this is the first time I got to see uh, both Liverpool and Dortmund in Singapore. So, uh, good experience for me. Lah. Yes. Yeah. So Afa is a Liverpool and Dortmund fan, right? And then, you, like what you just said, both 
teams came this year, in fact, right? So it's really good to see those players come to Singapore. All right. So just a quick question. Uh, who are you most excited to see today? Oh, it's a goal, by the way. Yeah, for the charity game, it's a goal. Uh, yeah, with that being said, yeah, so sorry. So who is who are you most excited, excited to see today? Uh, the most excited player to see is Emre Chan because he's an ex Liverpool player and... Yeah, they're saying once a red, always a red. Yeah. Fantastic, fantastic. Uh, my co-host later is coming. He's also a Liverpool fan. So later I can introduce to him. All right. Okay. Thank you, Alpha, for the interview and enjoy the game. Enjoy the game. Okay. So we're just done with the interview, with Alpha, and we've got another special guest. Right. He's been the goal difference one of the followers of for a long time. Right. And he also came to on stream. A close friend of mine, Adit. How are you today, Adit? I'm fine, bro. How are you? I'm good, I'm good. So, just going to ask you two quick questions, yeah? Uh, first of all, actually, you know what? Why don't you tell the, the, the people in the blog what, what's your socials, where they can find you and whatnot? So, Instagram is youngadit, and then on Twitter, you added Matt7. So you stream as well on Twitch, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same handle as um, Twitter, added Matt7. Alright, okay, so just two quick questions for you. Uh, how do you find Japan's victory over Germany last night? It was a great performance, especially for Asian teams. It's huge performance and against a, such a giant, yep. it never expected. It was a good result. Joshua must be very happy. Of course, we know. I'm sure you've seen the Instagram, right? He's very happy. We're, in the, we're in the same stream, yeah? yeah. When uh, Joshua said that Japan's going to take it all the way to the finals, but lose to Netherlands. <laughs> hey, what? I don't think it's funny at all. I think it's going to be a... It's possible. Anyway, the second question is, since we are here at Jalan Besar to watch Borussia Dortmund and uh, Lion City Sailors, and I, oh yeah, by the way, Adit is also a big Dortmund and Sailors fan. So I guess, you know, it's good to see both teams Best playing. Of Best of both worlds, exactly. So, uh, the last question is, who's the player that you're most excited to see? Maybe a group of players that you're most excited to see. So from Dortmund, it'll be Royce and Collins, and then from Lion City Sailors, obviously, it's got to be less than my man. Biggest guy I want to see with Royce. Hopefully we'll see them today. Yeah, maybe Lestian's auditioning to join Dortmund, you know. Lestian, 25, what, 25 games, 25 assists, 12 goals. Fantastic return. All right, Adit, I'll catch you later. Thanks so much for the interview. Wow, the fanfare right now for our charity match is really good. Um, yeah, so it's still about, about one and a half hours before the game. Uh, I went to interview Adit. I'm sure you've seen the interview just recently with Adit, uh, with Afa as well, right behind me. And you know, there's some friends, there's some uh, nice friends that I met that was willing to subscribe to the page. So uh, you know, I'm very thankful for that, uh, Joshua and myself. Uh, you know, the goal difference. We are here to try and give you the best content in Singapore for football. Yeah. And yeah, I'm, again, as I said earlier on, I'm sweating bullets. I, it's, I probably the combination of sitting in the gallery for the first time. And also wearing jeans in this kind of open air environment. It's really hot, really hot. Uh, yeah, with that being said, the stands are getting filled up right now. As I said earlier, it'll be a full. Oh, is that going to be a goal? Oh, no, it's not a goal, no goal, no goal. Hey, look at that. Look at the fanfare for a charity match. Fantastic. You love to see it. And as I was saying, um, yeah, it's really hot. Um, first time in the gallery, so let's see how the atmosphere is today. Yeah, I'll give you guys more updates. Maybe I'll try and find more people to interview. And stay tuned, stay tuned. Thank you very much. Yeah, is that what? Is that Noah Alamsha playing? I think Noah Alamsha is, is playing. Yeah, so it's quite interesting to see Noah Alamsha on the field. Uh, maybe reigniting his past, uh, you know, glory days uh, form. Let's see whether I recognize anyone else. Uh, not really. Is that Alexander Durich? I'm not, too sure. I'm not too sure as well. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention that. As I said, I, I was very happy to meet you guys but unfortunately I think some of you are in the grandstand so I don't think we're going to meet each other today I'll be very happy to talk to you all like you know I met Adit I met Xavier so yeah I'll see whether I can interview more people I think it'll be quite interesting maybe get their thoughts about what they're, who they're looking forward to see and what kind of uh, atmosphere that they're hoping to get and you know maybe this could encourage them to come for more football games in the future you know, whether it's local or you know international games I just wanted to say, if you guys didn't watch my vlog, uh, the previous vlog when Borussia Dortmund came, I think the Dortmund organization has done fantastic in terms of like catering to the fans. You know, um, the, the fans really got. I, I I can't remember a time where the players really stopped and signed so many people's autographs. You know, like for their you know their merchandise to sign. So it's great to see. Obviously, they have an agreement with the sailors, but you know the point still remains that they are here for the fans, and you know I think. If this goes to be a bit more internationally 
abroad, you know, if you guys, international viewers and whatnot, I think we Singaporean friends can say that we are thankful for the sailors for organizing this and the dormant players and the dormant organization for giving us such a treat the past few days. Really excited, let's go! Afghats Dortmund, Afghats Dortmund. Okay, so if you guys saw our Instagram page, I met Xavier again. Xavier is sitting on the same side of me. Say hi, Xavier. Hello. All right, so uh, he's a Liverpool fan, and you went to watch the Liverpool yeah. game as well, right? And how do you find the atmosphere at the National Stadium? Yeah, it was great. They, uh, they played very nice songs for Liverpool, like, you'll never walk alone. Then after that, one kiss. Awesome, awesome. Okay, so for today, Sailors versus Dortmund, right? Who are you most looking forward to see today? I want to see Marco Royce, but he's injured, so I think Matt Hummels, uh, he's a great centre-back. Fantastic centre back, and I saw. Can you show on the camera what all the signatures that you got? Take uh, your time, take your time. Look at all the signatures you got. Fantastic. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Okay. So, um, with that being said, thanks Xavier for following the page, and I appreciate it. And cheers to you, and enjoy the game. Say bye. Bye bye. Okay. So um, Xavier's interview. He's such a nice kid. Really, really, such a nice kid. And look at the look at the crowds now. It's what 45 minutes before the game. Joshua's coming any moment. And let me stand up and look at the crowd. Let's look at the crowd. Fantastic atmosphere here. The gallery is filling up. The gallery is filling up here. And you love to see it. And off gets Dortmund. Off gets Dortmund. minutes before kickoff. How about you, Ethan? Sorry, Oshan. Sorry, if you are hearing this, uh, I just want to say you're a very nice guy. I made you at the airport. You scored five, you helped me sign an autograph. So, thank you, Sorry. Alright, I felt that to my bone. Okay, my last thing to ask you guys here is, what do you think the score will be here tonight? So, some score predictions, please. 3-1 to the players, man. I don't know why everyone's laughing. That's possible, no? Okay, how about you? The ego that I draw, I, I'm happy with it. Okay, you, you guys? Uh, two all. Two all. Alright, I can sense that these three are very excited. I'm very excited. And I know okay, so it's about 30 minutes before kickoff. And if you can see from the previous footage, it's buzzing here in Jalan Besar. It's almost full at the gallery, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, it's starting to get really cramped up. Uh, Joshua is coming. Yeah. Hey, yeah, cheers, man. Okay, so in the previous footage, I was interrupted by a good friends of mine, uh, Joshua and Danny. So, how are you guys doing today? Good, good. Doing good and well. Alright, awesome. Uh, so today, just a very quick question for you all. Who are you most uh, looking forward to see today on the pitch at Jalan Besar Stadium? Uh, Marco Royce. Marco Royce. How about yourself, Joshua? Same as him. Marco Royce. And you are a United fan? Yes. And yourself, you are? Uh, Liverpool fan. fan. Alright, awesome to see. Thanks for coming up and saying hi to the goal difference. Hey, one more thing. Score yeah. prediction. 6-0. Okay, 6-0. Yeah. Joshua with... Uh, alright, alright. Joshua is 6-0. 8-2. 8-2. Wow, no faith in the sailors. I, I see no faith, yeah? <laughs> alright, alright. Hey, thanks for the interview. Thanks for supporting page. Appreciate it, brother. Okay, so we have Brandon again, uh, representing the crew, right? Yes. So, you know, he came up to me, then he gave me, he gave me his score prediction, which may shock you all. So, of course, he's representing the crew. So, what do you think today's score line is going to be? Um, I say it's going to be 2-1 to sailors. I believe I believe in the, Singap in the Singapore team. And... And, re and really, it doesn't matter about, about the score. The only, the only thing is to, have, is to have fun and learn from it. Cheers. There's, you know, that's all we want in football games. You know, all this friendly banter. You know, but at the end of the day, as long as you enjoy the game, right? right? Yes, no matter yes, what yes. team you support. Yes, yeah? we agree. All right, cheers, Brandon. And yeah, thanks thanks for the interview again. Yes, thank you. And look at who has arrived. Joshua, my man. Um, well, it's what? How many more minutes before? About 25 minutes before kickoff. Uh, this was right after Brandon's interview. Brandon is right beside me still. And yeah, how are you, Joshua, today? Good, good. You know, I just watched a bit of the Switzerland game. You know, yeah. got a good win to start the group. It's a tough group. You know, people are backing so a bit over them. Yeah. But you know, good to see teams winning. You know, there's been a lot of nil nils in the World Cup. But you know, of course, at this game, looking forward to seeing some. Not really pre-season, mid-season for Dortmund. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Post-season for Sailor. So hoping for a good, good friendly game here. Okay, so I've been so busy at recording about now. What was the score for Switzerland game just now? 
one nil held it out in the end. Yeah. One nil, one nil. All right, so you know it's good to see. I'm, I'm probably gonna pen to the fans right now. And you're wrapping your Liverpool jersey. You got, you know, there's a lot of Liverpool fans here. You know, later you'll see. They're announcing the lineups right now. So, Josh, what are your score predictions for today for Dortmund? And for against Sailors, sorry. I think Dortmund's gonna edge it. You know, too much quality, even if it's their reserves or youth team. I think it's gonna be like a 3 1 Dortmund win. Well, I predicted a 4 1. Oh, Emery Chan is playing. Wow, Emery Chan's playing. So, 4 1. Emery Chan's playing. So, 4 1 for Dortmund. Uh, we are, but, you know, Joshua has his Sailors, pom poms. So, you know, we'll see how it goes, we'll see how it goes, yeah? Yeah, I think, you know, Sailor's giving some of the French players a chance as well. Like, there's no uh, Iswa, no Hassan in the squad, and I don't think she knows in the squad too. So, maybe it's a bit of planning for next season because there's rumours around these players. Uh, Paris Ramli and Gabriel Clark on the bench, there's rumours about them as well, so we'll see. So, maybe they're just starting to plan for next season and, you know, giving some of the French players a chance to shine today. Alright, so I'm going to pan to the crowd one more time, and then we're going to probably pan to the players walking out to the uh, field. Alright, so, see you guys. All right, so in moments before kickoff, how do you find the crowd today at Jalan Besar? Quite promising, but actually on the third floor opposite, there's quite a lot of empty seats. So, yeah, yeah. But looking at the gallery, you know, very full and you know, this part is usually not open for league games, so it's great to have it open again. Yeah, it is my first time in the gallery. Have you seen the gallery before? Yeah, I've, I've sat here a few times, you know, previous national team games when they used to play here. Some tournament, I remember Lion City Cup, I came and I sat here as well. So it's a nice place to sit, you know. Back in the Lions 12 days, they have temporary stand at the other end. Yeah. So, I mean, hopefully we can get these attendances again. Yeah, for sure. You know, it'll be quite interesting to see if, like, Singapore Premier League get more people, they will open the gallery more. It's actually a very nice place to, you know, uh, soak in the atmosphere. I think it's a bit more intimate, intimate here, I would imagine, compared to down there. Yeah, and you know, hopefully, for some people, we can see our first Sailors win. So, what Joshua just mentioned, right? Uh, Joshua and I, this is our fifth Sailors game we are watching at Jalan Basa. And the four times, the previous four encounters, they've lost every single game. So, I don't fancy the chances today. But you never know, right? Maybe we are the jinx, right? So I, it looks like it's going to be the fifth straight loss for Lion City Sailors. Yeah, actually, you know, I think it, it's the third game at Jalan Basa. Sorry to correct you there. Yeah, yeah. But I, I think two of them was at Jurong East. You can oh. correct me if I'm wrong. At least one of them was there. I'm I not think, sure oh, if yeah, it's yeah. Against if I'm wrong, right? Yeah, 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 but yeah. majority was here. So this is our fifth game. Yeah. Three was against Elbrex, one was against Geelang, which they lost. So, you know, for the sake of our supporter, not really supporter, I would say friend, Eddie, they can get their first win today and I know we have other sailors fans who are friends as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's most definitely. Alright, so it's really soon to kick off. I'm gonna pen to the field right now. And yeah, I look forward to we are looking forward to such a cracking game here at Jalan Let's go. Alright, so actually Sailors caught on the counter, but it was an offside, right? It's what? Now it's three minutes into the game, and was it offside? I don't know, I can't see it from this angle, you know, but you gotta trust the referee to make the decision. You gotta trust the referee, you gotta trust the referee, and yeah, I think it was offside, it looked really offside. Uh, really, really good finish from Saifullah Akbar, if I'm not wrong. Okay, so it's now seven minutes into the game. Joshua, how do you find the first seven minutes of this game? I mean, it's a typical friendly game, you know, not too much in it. Pretty slow pace, but you know, I mean, just watching a game of football is always good. Thank you. 
11 minutes in the game. Was it quite good to see Lestian go up against Emery uh, Chan, ex Liverpool player? Yeah, how was it? How do you, are you excited to see Emery Chan play today? I mean, you know, he dropped off a bit in previous seasons, not in the World Cup, so I'm sure he's disappointed about that. But, you know, it's a good run from Lestian, putting himself out there. And, yeah, I mean, Lestian's been playing in a top European league, top European league for the past few seasons. I mean, whether some people classify the Belgian league as one, but, yeah, it's good to see him, you know, playing at the kind of level again. Yes, yes, yes. And then after Lestian and Emery Chan, the, what, Dortmund went on the counter, and you guys saw on the footage, they almost scored, and now Dortmund has another good chance here. Oh, and it's a... Oh, he hit the post, right? I think he hit off the post, if I'm not wrong. Oh, Dortmund just had a good chance. Keeper save and hit the post, if I'm not wrong, yeah. Wow, amazing, amazing. 20 minutes in, Sailors had a really good chance. How are you reading about uh, Sailors' chance just now, Joshua? Yeah, I started with a great turn from Saifulak, but I think he's having a really good start to the game. He had a goal disallowed earlier. So we'll see, you know, if he stays with the Sailors or makes a move next season. Alright, so Anu just had a very, I would say it's a fair challenge, but he's grading quite rough to yeah, Emery Chan, right? Emery Chan. Then Emery Chan had a um, disagreement with Anu and they kind of argued, but it seems to be all okay now, yeah? Yeah, he probably said, you know, it's a friendly why you're going in so hard, but you know, Maybe Anu is in a mood to prepare for the Mitsubishi Cup, so he's going in hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For all to play for, all to play for here at the Jalapusa Stadium. You know, both Dortmund players here have to show their team, uh, show Favre that, you know, maybe they're worth a spot in the Bundesliga. You know, maybe leave a lasting impression here. And for the sailors, uh, for the locals, you know, Mitsubishi Cup is coming up. So, you never know, they need to impress here so that they can have a good form running to Mitsubishi Cup and play good football for Singapore. Okay, very interesting here, you know, um, as you say, Joshua, it's a friendly here and the game actually got paused for a water break, right? So, first 25 minutes, I would say the sailors are, sailors are actually doing pretty well, pretty well. What, what are your thoughts about the game thus far, the first 25 minutes? Yeah, I mean, post-Covid, I guess the water breaks have become more normal, especially... Yeah, more prevalent, more prevalent. When it's close to summer and, of course, Dortmund, you know, probably not used to the temperature still because in Germany it's winter right now, but, you know, you got to hydrate, you know, stay safe and all that. But the game itself, friendly game, been quite exciting actually, so it's, it's a good watch to see players in action. I would say it's not like one-sided dormant all the way. I think Sailors did have a few chances here and there, right? Yeah, I think what's interesting about this water break is that there's music yeah. and all this crowd engagement, which usually isn't the case, I would think. Yeah. So it's good to engage the crowd because we have quite a packed full Jalan Besar Stadium today. So good to see, good to see. And the game is going to resume. It's a goal for Dortmund. Dortmund has scored. It seems like Amr Ali that was an own goal, right? From um, I think one of the wingers for Dortmund squared it in, and then Amr Ali scored their own goal. Unfortunate to see, but I think sailors, sailors have been playing pretty well. Yeah. And if you see the crowd, I think it's majority Dortmund fans here, and it's one 0 now at Jalan Besar. Joshua, what about your thoughts for the goal? I thought it was fortunate, but it's a deserved goal for Dortmund. You know, hopefully sailors, you know, when they bring on some of the star players, it's like kind of Gabriel Clark, Fred Ramli, they could make a goal. Yeah.
Donya Malin scored the second goal in two goals in quick succession for Dormans. 2 0 here at Jalambasa. I think it was like three minutes in two goals, I would imagine. Donya Malin, fantastic solo effort from him. What are your thoughts about Donya Malin's goal? Yeah, you know, I used to rate him really highly when he was at PSV. I even wanted Liverpool to sign him, to be honest. But, you know, great goal, and it's great that you managed to catch both goals so far. Yeah. Okay. So it's uh, three minutes for half time. I gotta say, Leicester has been really bright for Sailors. What do you think, Joshua? Yeah, I mean the brightest part, you know, they're playing without many forwards, I would say. Mainly Lestian, so... No, you know, Lopez as well, right? No Lopez playing today. Yeah, I think Lopez on the bench, actually. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so the corners, don't mind us. And yeah, I think unfortunate. Lestian has been doing quite well, quite bright for Sailors, but it's still 2 near here at Jalan Basar. Dortmund dominating the game. Okay, so second half, because second half has comments, right? Uh, uh, let's do our match second half analysis, uh, first half analysis, sorry, first half analysis. Uh, the reason being because my phone is a bit low, so I had to charge my phone. So I, I do apologise. Um, so what are your thoughts about the first half? 3 nil right now for Dortmund. Yeah, I mean, if I'm not wrong, all the three goals came in the last 15 minutes. Um, one was fortunate, two uh, really well taken goals by Daniel Marlin. So I think very deserved, and now Sailors have made I think, four changes, so we'll see how it's going to go in the second half. Yes, so I did say earlier on that we we're going to do a giveaway, but I think because of my phone being low, I'll probably, we'll probably do it post game. Yeah, so we'll find a lucky fan, uh, ask him a few questions, and maybe they can win the prize. So, second half, I think, okay, so before we move to the second half, let me give my first half analysis. I think Sailors can be proud of themselves for the performance they did in the first half. You know, I think they were all right, they were all right. Uh, Lestian has been bright, they had uh, Sailors had a disallowed goal, uh, but Dorman, when they scored, it just came in a flurry. You know, when they scored the first goal, uh, Amr Ali scored the own goal, and then Donya Marlon scored the second goal in like what two minutes later, and then Marlon again in like the 41st minute. So uh, maybe like what three goals in the span of 11 minutes. So unfortunate for Sailors. And let's proceed on to the second half. Let's go, guys. And and Joshua did mention off camera that um, Dorman kind of rotated their whole team it looks like right Marlon is out uh, Emery Chan is out you know so I think this Nicole is going to Nico Shoes out so I think this is going to be a look for the youth players to make an impression to Favre right yeah, to, yeah. I've been very impressed with number 56 you know he looks a bit like Jurgen Klopp to me yeah. and he stayed on for the second half yeah. Really so that's, yeah so that's quite interesting yeah 56 looks like Jurgen Klopp he's right, the centre mid right he's been playing and just dominating the midfield uh, so now it's what now it's 47 minutes and let's go back to the game Okay, so it's 50th minute in. Uh, I think Josh and I were saying off camera that 56 for Dorman has been really impressive, right? In dominating the midfield. Um, what do you think of the youth uh, for Dorman so far? Have, have they impressed you on the pitch? Looking bright in the first five minutes of the second half, you know, making good runs and yeah, hopefully we'll see more from them. All right, so it's, uh, in, it's a substitute for Dortmund. And 56, you know, I think Joshua rightly pointed out he's one of the best players for Dortmund. Very bright in the midfield. He's been subbed off. What do you think of the Jurgen Klopp lookalike? I think very good. He controlled the midfield, you know, made some very impressive passes, some great runs as well. But, you know, we're going to see another youth player come on and hopefully impress. Yeah, so we'll, def we'll definitely do our due diligence and find out who 56 is. Potentially, it could be a... Oh! Oh, that was a poor... Oh, Dortmund with a good chance. 59 minutes, Dortmund with a good chance. Uh, the player that signed my jersey in the meet and greet, Rickoff, I think, the Dutch player, just had a good chance, number 40. And yeah, as I was saying, 56. We will do our due diligence and we will find out who he is. And, you know, could be a potential starter in the future for Dortmund. Or Sailors. Come on. You never know. Sailors, maybe Sailors, the scouting team can pry some of the Dortmund talent to Singapore. Back to the action. Samuel Bamba. Okay, so it's the 65th minute and Dorman has got their fourth goal. A bit sloppy goal to concede for the Sailors. Uh, Samuel Bamba, 48, the youth player for Dorman. He headed in an uh, open goal. Uh, what are your thoughts about the fourth goal, Joshua? Yeah, I mean, very good header. Found himself in the right position at the back post. Yeah, but looking at it, you know, hopefully Sailors can get a goal. Maybe Sharon Sliman, you know, catching the keeper off the line with halfway line shot. He's capable of that, but yeah, I'm hoping they give. Okay, Dortmund with a chance here. Oh, oh, keep up. Poor shot from Dortmund, but keeper did a good job there. All right, you're saying sorry, sorry, yeah, Joshua. I'm, I'm hoping that, you know, Sailors give their fans something to cheer about. Yeah, most definitely. As you know, uh, just now you watched the vlog earlier. Oh, Gable quick, with a chance. Gable. 
So the goal is coming up on the replay screen now. What a goal from Gabriel Quack. What a goal. So we were in the midst of discussing the fourth goal from Dortmund and like Joshua just said, he wants uh, Sailors to score. And they indeed scored. 4-1 now. What are your thoughts on Gabriel Quack's goal, Joshua? Couldn't have said it any sooner, but you know, great run, great finish. You know, Keeper maybe should have done better at the near post, but it's a very... Good moment for Sailors fans, I would say. You know, deserved goal, I would say. You know, the fact that Gabriel Quack. You know, comment down below. You think Gabriel Quack is going to stay in the Sailors or is he going to move on? You know, the Sailors reportedly not uh, renewing his contract. So, and if he does move on, do you see another Singapore Premier League team signing him? And it looks like my predictions have gone down the drain. Dortmund has just got their fifth goal. Yep. I don't know where they're going to play again. Beautiful goal. It was a breakaway for Dortmund. Samuel Bamba. So it's 48 again. So it's two goals for Samuel Bamba. Look, it's a player to look out for. I think Pullman and Samuel Bamba are players to look out for in the future for Dortmund. What are your thoughts about the fifth goal, Joshua? Very well taken goal, you know, and it's really looking very open right now. And Sailors, of course, they've taken off most of their senior players. So, I mean, it's showing right now and hopefully it doesn't get even worse for them. Yep, yep, yep. So, AOS maybe? I don't know. Could be an AOS, but yeah, let's turn back to the game. 74th minute into the game. Okay, as usual, the goal difference was our specialty. We always miss goal footage. So, the player who signed my jersey yesterday, Julian Rikoff, he scored. A uh, youth striker. Let's see the goal. It's showing on the big screen now. It was a simple tap in for Julian Rikoff. Simple tap in. Very simple time in. So, yeah, so his name, Julian Rakoff. It's 6 1 now for Dortmund, Jalen Bassar. Turning to a route here, but I think that will probably be it, I would imagine. It's really easy, like the 80, 85th minute. What do you think, Joshua? Do you think there's going to be more goals here at Jalen Bassar? Hoping Sailors get one more, but yeah, anyway, our good friend Iggy predicted a Germany 6 1 win yesterday. So it looks like a German team could actually win 6 1 today. Exactly, so Germany, you know, yesterday losing to Japan, so, you know, remember? Faris Ramli has scored for the Sailors. 7-2 right now. Again, I missed the footage. Come on, let's see the replay. Beautiful goal for Faris Ramli. He got on the counter. Breakthrough, beautiful composure from him. What a curler. What a curler for Faris Ramli. What a goal from Faris Ramli. Beautiful. You love to see it. So it's 90th minute right now. Uh, what are your thoughts about Faris Ramli's goal, Joshua? Very, very good goal. You know, he cut in, shot it with his weaker left foot. Very, very good finish. I think it will look good for him, uh, for Singapore as well, to, uh, coming up the Mitsubishi Cup, yeah? How ironic it is that it's two players that are potentially leaving the Sailors that scored the goals for Lions City Sailors. And it's the end! It's full time here! Dortmund 7, Lions City Sailors 2 at the Jalan Besar Stadium. A great game, great game. Uh, you know, full of potential stars in the future for Dortmund. We get to see them in real life today. And, you know, fans came out in real support. And, yeah, it's, it's a great atmosphere. So we'll move on to our post-match reaction.
Okay, so it's the end of the game right now. As I said, Dortmund 7-2. Uh, uh, Dortmund against Sailor 7-2. And you know, we have really special guests here because Gabriel Quack potentially playing his last game here with the Sailors. And they gave away his jersey to two lucky fans here, right? Let's look at the jersey. Come on, show the jersey on the camera. Awesome, awesome. And how about you introduce yourself? Yeah, turn it around, turn it around. Look at that. Awesome. Gabriel Quack's jersey. How about you introduce yourself to the, the uh, vlog? Uh, hi, I'm Ryan. Uh, yeah. Hi, I'm Ridy. Alright, awesome. And um, how do you find today's game? It was expected that Dortmund would win. Yes, fair enough. How about right, yours? I mean, right? I agree like, that Dortmund would actually dominate this game, but we just didn't know like how much it would be. Fair. So, yeah. but it was a good game. Uh, good, a good fight from both. Yeah. Especially uh, the Sailors. Yeah. Uh, two goals was actually good from them at the yes, as well. Yes, for sure. But uh, kudos to all the players for giving their best. Yeah. And. Uh, can we just talk about how special Gabriel Quack and Faris Ramli goal was? Actually, both goals were fantastic, right? Yeah. Will you agree with me? Yes. I agree, I agree. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Just want to say that, look at the jersey that they're wearing. Right? I don't want to be biased here, but we are all Arsenal fans. I don't know why I tend to interview Arsenal fans, so come on, you Gunners. Come on, yeah. Gunners. Come on, you Gunners. And up the Gunners. Up the Gunners. And how about one last question? Do you think Arsenal can win the league this year? Oh, I think we can do it. All I right. believe we can do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure, for sure. So, thank you so much, Ryan. Righty, thank you so much for your time. Okay, so let's end the vlog. I know we said everyone do the post-match reaction, right? So let's end it at Jalan Mesa, not, not like the usual workout, right? So, Joshua, what are your thoughts about the 7-2 victory for Dortmund today? I think a good workout for both teams, you know, when you come and you have this partnership, you come and play a friendly, it's always nice to see. I think Sailors will be a little disappointed with the margin of the scoreline, but, you know, at least end on a good note with Fires Ramli scoring a beautiful left-footed curler. He went over to the fence, so I'm sure they were really happy about that as well. Fantastic, you love to see it. So for me, I think the, uh, for Gabriel Quack and Faris Ramli, two, perf two beautiful goals from them. And it's a bit unfortunate that this could be their last game for the Sailors, you know. And the, the fact that they have to rely on the both of them to score the goals, maybe the Sailors can reconsider the decisions. Uh, with that being said, I think for Dortmund, the two youth players that stood out for me was Pullman and, you know, uh, Bamba, Samuel Bamba. I think those two were fantastic for them. Uh, Pullman, maybe you can look out for him in the future. Future centre mid for Dortmund, yeah? Yeah, I think I alluded, I alluded it to it during the game as well. I was really impressed with him, number 56, Pullman. But you know, I got to disagree with you about Bamba. Even though he scored two goals, the one who impressed me was the left winger who came on number 30 or number 39, couldn't uh, really see. The, yeah, that looked that look like Abiche, Abiche Ezzi, right? Looks like him, yeah. Yeah, to me, while Bamba got the goals, you know, he was fantastic as well. And you know, he almost scored from the free kick. So yeah. I think definitely both wingers, including Baba as well as the left winger, is one to look out for in the future. Awesome. So, with that being said, I think we will end the vlog today. Thank you so much for your time and effort. We appreciate the love and support as always. Uh, great fanfare today. Uh, Jalan Besar was packed and it's my first time at the gallery. Yeah, so we will see you guys next time. Like, comment, subscribe. And with love from the Gold Difference, we are signing out. Uh, it's going to be a dormant question. Okay. Yeah, dormant. Alright, so hi guys. Uh, how was the game today? Good. 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 All right, so yes. all right, we are in a rush right now because a uh, grab is coming. So, uh, just a quick question, yeah? yeah. How many times have uh, Dortmund won the Meister Uh Give you a clue. Five to ten. The number between five to ten. Seven. Quite close. Quite close. Eight. Six. Eight. Okay. Yeah. And, all right. All right. One more question. How many times have they won the Champions League? Three. No. Two, no. Two. No. One. One. Fantastic, guys. Fantastic. All right. So you guys win the prize. All right. Alright, so thanks guys for look at the flag, look at the beautiful flag, Dortmund flag. Did you know a towel? It's a towel. Uh, towel? Okay, <laughs> fair enough, it still looks the same. Alright, cheers guys. Here's Bye. the gift. Yes. We are here. Uh, Wait, there's a gift? Yeah, yeah, there's a gift. Give you all. Oh um, my goodness. Unfortunately, it's a Leicester City cap, but I don't know whether it's a cute cap, it's a cute cap with a pox, yeah. yeah? Thank you. Yeah, so anything you want to say to the, my channel? Subscribe! Alright, thank you, man. Cheers, cheers. Alright, thanks, guys. I think you gotta go. Alright, see you, see you. Thank you. Bye bye. Out of that, Dortmund. Out of that, Dortmund. The goal difference. The goal difference. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you.